Electromagnetic energy travels in the form of waves and spans across a broad spectrum from massively long radio waves to very short gamma rays. We use many examples of electromagnetic energy in our daily lives from watching TV to making popcorn in a microwave. We depend on it every hour of every day. We are going to focus on ultraviolet waves, or also known as ultraviolet light, and learn about them specifically. Ultraviolet light, also known as UV light, is a kind of light that humans cannot see, as its wavelengths are shorter than visible light. However, similar to how some animals can hear sounds humans can't, so too can some animals see ultraviolet light, such as bees, reptiles, and some birds. This is also how bug zappers work. They emit ultraviolet light that the insects are attracted to, and they fall into a trap. Ultraviolet light was discovered in 1801 by Johanna Ritter when they conducted an experiment to investigate existences beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. The experiment was simply exposing photosensitive paper to light beyond violet. Photosensitive papers turn black faster when exposed to blue light than it is when exposed to red light. If the papers had turned black, then it would prove that there was an existence of light beyond violet, and the result was ultraviolet light. UV light is commonly divided into three types classified by their wavelengths, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Out of the three, UVC has the shortest wave, has the highest energy, it is also the most harmful, to, but the Earth's atmosphere completely absorbs it. However, it is also because of this fact that UVC is an incredibly effective germicide capable of being used for water and air purification, and also among hospital sanitation. After UVC, UVB is the next most harmful, has mid-range energy among the three, and is associated with high risk of skin cancer. Most of it is absorbed by the atmosphere, but it causes sunburn, so you should still use sunscreen. Finally, UVA, or long wave ultraviolet, has the weakest amount of energy among the three and is the closest to visible light, which means it is safe for human beings and is capable of reaching past the atmosphere, yet it can still be used to kill viruses and bacteria. Ultraviolet light is often used to investigate and research the formation of galaxies and stars. This is because visible light causes red and yellow stars, like our sun, to be shown in images of galaxies. For ultraviolet light, it causes young stars and gas clouds that contain new stars to appear on images. It is even possible to examine dark craters on the moon using ultraviolet light by sensing the faint ultraviolet light reflections coming from the UV light of distant stars and can also be used to find water ice on the moon. This method could also be used on other planets as well. Ultraviolet light can be connected to many astronomical events, such as the birth of a new star, since young stars shine most of their light at ultraviolet wavelengths. Another example is the aurora, which occurs when high-energy waves, like ultraviolet waves with photons, bump into atoms of gases in the atmosphere, which in turn causes the electrons in those atoms to excite and move to the atom's upper shells, and when the electrons move back down the shell, it causes energy to be released as light. Different colored lights are the result of different types of atoms being excited. There was also an aurora discovered on Jupiter, wrapping around its north pole when an image of it was captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, and another aurora was discovered on Saturn with satellites.